I'm Brad Ross, <clears throat> and like any citizen of, of the world, I'm heartbroken and saddened by the events we see in Ukraine. You, there's no way to just walk through your normal daily life without seeing these images in your head of the brutality and the horror that's happening in everyday life there. In the morning I get up and I hug my little boy and I talk to him about what our day is going to be like. And I can't only imagine what it would be like to be unfortunate enough to be in the heart of, of the brutality that spring coming down on Ukraine from Russian forces. Political ambition is just an anathema to life and and health and it's it's so sad to see that that political ambitions and and drive the quest for power it can take over human beings in a way that they can unleash the kind of horror and brutality that happens in Mariupol and Aleppo and places like that. It's un unconscionable and unfathomable to think about. And as a human and a, a feeling person on this earth, I don't see how any of us can ignore it. I don't see how any of us can go through a regular day without thinking about it. And I don't think I see how anyone can take it off their mind. And all of us in our various ways with our various beliefs, just pray for this to stop. Uh, political desires can be realized in other ways. There doesn't have to be this kind of brutality and, and horror of human destruction in, in the search of, of these kinds of ends. There's other ways to negotiate your power and negotiate uh, peace and, and security. And I think that me, like most Americans, we don't believe that America has any desires to conquer lands. We, that's not to say that we haven't had skirmishes, but we try to follow a, a, a moral code and, and, uh, and do the right things. And, and it's clear in this case that the right thing is not being done. I think the people of the world need to collectively unite somehow and make sure that this stops and that it can't ever happen again. However, that has to come to be. I think it has to be in everybody's thoughts and prayers and actions you know, from this day forward. I don't know how to say it any other way. I'm just heartbroken. We're all just heartbroken. It needs to stop.